Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode 57 of the Realm Recap. I am Jason from yakface.com, joined as always from flyguy.net. Flyguy. <laughs> How are you doing, sir? I switched that up. Did you catch that? <laughs> you did. You switched it up. Confused me completely. But uh, another, I mean, we're kind of late a couple of days, but just that's life. Yeah, so all busy. the more stuff to talk about and, and don't some we? good stuff in there thrown in the last couple of days. This is a Java sized uh, episode, so uh, yeah. buckle up and um, yeah. We'll take you through the week. Sounds good. Um, we'll start things as we always do with the Hasbro portion of the show. Um, big news last week, I guess big is a relative term, but uh, there was um, the <laughs> seven or Wave 7 of Black Series 3 and 3 quarter inch figures started to hit eBay courtesy of uh, Viper's Kingdom, that uh, mm-hmm. I would say infamous seller at this point. Definitely. Um, and, uh... He posted figure... Um, open loose images and auctions for uh, Vader, uh, Captain Rex, uh, C- Commander Doom. Who else was in there? There was another one in there, I think. Uh, Doom, Rex, uh, I can't remember. I think that was, those think were the big ones, maybe? Was, I think there was, there was only four. There was four, definitely, anyway. So uh, uh, it looks like Doom has disappeared from the site. Yeah. Uh, Doom, Rex, was it Thorn? Wolf, Wolf. Wolf, yeah. right. So, uh, so it's kind of surprising seeing. I mean, they're they're due relatively soon here, you know, in the next you know couple months. But to see them sure. now, and you know, who knows how final these paint apps and stuff, you know, are on these figures because some of them are kind of rough, and I think a lot of people have been disappointed with some well, of the we'll results. We'll talk about it. Yeah, I mean. That this could end up being final, but definitely as we get to, to some six-inch reveals, uh, I, I really do believe there's, there's parts missing from one of the figures. So it, it's, I mean, looking at it, what a beautiful detail on the helmet, but I mean, there's definitely some paint issues there. And, but uh, man, it's nice to see some articulation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome back. Where have you been? <laughs> so, seems like it's been forever. I know, but uh, they've really nailed that helmet. Absolutely. It looks really good. It. The kind of gold under color that that's uh, underneath mm-hmm. it as well, and that's quite a bit of intricate paint and transfer that they've they've done there. But I mean, even around the um, uh, the kind of two silver mouth pieces at the bottom, the kind of breathing apparatus part, it just looks like why why is the three black splodges there? It's kind of yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it's mm-hmm. yeah, they're, they're a little unfinished and rough. So if you, if you don't mind rough, then by all means you can pick them up uh, uh, on Fleabay. But uh, they'll be coming out soon anyway. So just yeah, hang don't in. overpay. If you can, no, 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 no. you know, there's, there's a worry, you know, because this is technically, you know, some uh, last figures for the Black Series before the whole packaging sure. switch over in in the fall. So people, I think, might be getting a little anxious to to pick some of these up. I w- I wouldn't be too concerned quite yet. I don't think. Man, I think they're going to be pretty widely available. And and at one point there was some full cases of these figures. I think uh, being talked about. So uh, right. I think Hasbro know that the these things are going to be popular. I would hope so. Right. Um, and then just recently, uh, today even, uh, he posted up um, images and auctions for some of the six-inch figures coming up soon. Um, you had you and I had both posted on our respective sites. Um, some of those loose images, which include Commander Cody, um, pretty good, you know, final product for that. Um, mm, definitely. Although I was saying it's kind of criminal that he's missing his uh, Palpatine. It really is. I thought we might get to yeah. see something, but nothing. yeah. Um, so. IG88, excuse me, IG88 was the other one, and this is the one I think you mentioned that you think there are some missing components. Yeah, that's right. This hole here, you'll see one photograph if you go on to Viper's Kingdom. There's a link there uh, in the post somewhere. There's a link, hyperlink. Uh, you can go in while well, we were just on Viper's Kingdom. So check the show notes. Uh, but um, there seems to be like a hole here. That, that's missing a mouthpiece as far as I can tell, a piece of plastic that That, that hole there. is actually on the head of the actual face, you know, of the actual character model. Well, the thing is here, you can... Um, let me see if we can get back to Viper's Kingdom in just for a second, and we'll have a look at that because they are because the uh, hole passes all the way through. That's which and, is which is not correct. I think it is actually. Really? Oh yeah. man. Well, this yeah. is the back of the figure. Uh, yeah. In a way, but um, it looks as if it's missing components from the chest as well. Those uh, kind of piping that normally goes over it. I, I don't know. It just seems a little yeah. sparse. 
Don't you think? Yeah, it's it's hard to tell with some of these images. I think, you know, we're seeing a lot here as far as the detail of the bandolier, you know, the ex you know the axe, and um, getting to see a lot of shots that we haven't seen before, and mm. we. We didn't. I don't think we saw complete, you know, 360 turnarounds from no, Hasbro ever released. So we, we might not know what we're missing here, if anything. But uh, okay, that I did not realize the, the hole in his head literally <laughs> went all the way through. So I was I was confident there's something missing there, but it seems as even that's the front of the figure there that there's yeah items missing over that. I don't know. It may be another piece, but um, I did like the 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 detail there that they're finally going to get a working holster for the blaster and the. Mm -hmm. uh, the axe, so it just looks good. Um, next was Bush. Uh, Bush, I think she looks pretty good. Uh, a lot of people are complaining that the helmet seems a little bit too big. It does it seem on it. a little bit. I mean, but... that, that helmet was kind of humongous on her anyway in Return of the Jedi, so mm. I, I'm a, I, if anything, it might not be pushed down far enough on, on the head. I agree. I think and the last thing we'll... We looked at the Vipers Kingdom's photographs and we, we were querying the Stormtrooper or Han Solo Stormtrooper and we were thinking the helmet looked terrible in those photographs and in, and in fact it looks fine, it looks great in the flesh so yeah I think this will be fine I think you're right, it's definitely bigger in the movie and uh, I think it looks fine so it's just a yeah. it's waiting to see So And sometimes the photographs aren't the greatest I mean sometimes they look like they've been taken with a fisheye lens so you yeah. know, everything's kind of a little Distorted and whatnot, yeah, but yeah, you're right, you're right. So, um, but, but I think looking it, I'm looking forward to her. Mm, good looking for. I love the detail in the backpack. Mm -hmm. Little kind of uh, transfers there. So yeah, it looks a good set of figures. And Cody's, I mean, he's basically a clone body, so it's not too hard to screw up. But uh, the helmet looks fantastic. It's just, it's looking a great figure. It's great. Yeah, and they also, they also include his uh, jet pack that goes on the back and everything. I don't know if you didn't saw that. See them. No, I didn't notice. Excellent. Yeah. Cool. Groovy. Good. I don't see what else? Figures, lots of cool. Uh, uh, R2-D60, I think, is next. Yeah, um, this was uh, revealed, um, or at least I noticed it first over on the Vinylmation World site. Um, in May, I believe it is, uh, Disney's having their 60th, or uh, Disney World is having, no, it's Disneyland is having their 60th anniversary, and uh, they're having a bunch of commemorative products released for that, and one of them is a new um, Astromech Build-A-Droid figure that comes on a card in Blistered. Um, mm -hmm. This one's called R2-D60. I mean, D60 obviously makes sense for Disney's <laughs> 60th anniversary. Um it was initially reported that this was going to have a limited edition of only 6,000 pieces, and that threw <laughs> a lot of people into a tizzy um, as far as, you know, there's a lot of posts on the Disney Parks blog website sure. and a bunch of stuff, and they came back and revised and saying that this is not going to be limited and it's going to have a more wide release. Oh, okay. So it'll be available to more people and it'll be easier to get. So I think a lot of people are pretty happy about that. It's a cool-looking figure, and that, that Droid Factory lane just has been going for years. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. still going in some shape, size, or form, so uh, yeah, looks good. Right. Has to make lovers rejoice. Uh, let's see. There was also an article that kind of came up last week that was a little bit of a bit of controversy. controversy. Um, you know, people were complaining and speculating that the Saga Legends Rebels line was dead. Um... I'm not sure how that. <laughs> I'm not sure how people came to interpret that because it was, it was clear in the original post that I think it was uh, Andrew's Toys had shared that those particular case assortments would not be, you know, they there wouldn't be making any more. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's not that the figures themselves were canceled. It's just that those yeah. uh, those particular packs, you know, the case packs were were not going to be, you know, resolicited. Well, I, is that how you? If for those watching, um, yeah, I, I think again, it's it's sometimes the words can just be picked up wrong, and, and whoever ran with it basically saying that they were uh, discontinued, and you know they weren't going to be made available anymore, and 
there was a mini panic, a mini uh, storm in a teacup over this. You know, there's no more figures, and it, that is, it's just uh, again, and we reached out as well as did you and, and Imperial Shipyards and many others to, to get clarification. And um, uh, yeah, so uh, basically, they weren't discontinued. They were just the lanes had basically, or those uh, waves uh, weren't going to be made available anymore. They just like all waves, right? They're available for a certain period of time. Sometimes you get revision cases where the uh, as we've seen recently, we've had the Inquisitor and Ezra and Kanan, Kanan yet again, repacked and repacked. Mm -hmm. um, but that they're just not making that case available anymore. So uh, you still can't get figures, but I mean, this just goes back to the same thing we just tell people all the time, is if you want to get something these days, you, you're playing a real gamble. To And you were really good this week telling people where they could get figures and where they should get it, you know, because a lot of people have missed out on some Saga yeah. Legends. But... Uh, just you got to pre-order them if you want them. Just you know, get them, yeah, get them in advance. So, uh, so yeah, storm in a teacup is over. But uh, talking of figures, you had a, a target DPCI list that popped up. Um, yeah, um, I saw one of my friends, um, or actually acquaintances I have over at uh, the Jedi Defender site. Um, he had gotten a hold of a nice big long list of uh, D DPCIs. Um, a lot of it includes Force Awakens stuff, which is pretty interesting as far as pricing and um, you know different SKUs. Let's have a little look at that list and see if we can. Uh... So yeah, this is nice. Nothing named, obviously, really, but um, as usual, they always give us the play, the role play stuff. We get to see villains, right. lightsaber, villains, mask, nerf foam lightsaber. Okay. But uh, well, yeah, lots of weapons, you know, lots of lots of role play stuff, which is kind of fun. Um, mm -hmm. A couple of interesting bits in there is like Three the first seconds. item is that uh, basic figures, episode seven, three point seven five inch. It's listed at seven ninety nine MSRP. It doesn't call them legends, and it doesn't say black series, so that could mean a I will... couple different things. It might be a mix, like it's maybe. Let's say they, there's a happy medium between the super articulated and the five POA, something around like a ten POA. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, it's priced kind of in the middle. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. It's definitely not fully articulated figures. Uh, I think no, can, I wouldn't think so. That that's out. That is out. Uh, which we know, even though Hasbro wouldn't really admit it, they they did it up. Uh, up the prices, um, but um, yeah, I mean those vehicles are back again. I mean, they, God, I mean, let, let's hope they're not repacks. Let's hope there's some of the Force Awakens stuff for sure. Um, six yeah, inch couple, figures. A couple um, of those listings say, you know, Episode Seven Class One vehicle. So they do. So they do. I'm just looking at the Class Two vehicle here. Yeah. Thinking that's probably the um, the stuff stuff we've seen before. So again, that looks like the assortment of the deluxe packs at forty bucks, speeder bike, Jabba, etc. Mm -hmm. um, Twelve inch Titan shampoo. <laughs> Boring. Um, sorry. Uh, Hero mashes. Look, look, they look interesting. I'm quite into seeing what they do with these. But um, mm -hmm. mashes deluxe. So that's probably the larger scale, like the Marvel sets that maybe come with extra parts. And yeah. Then role play. And then we heard about this before the micro machines. Interesting. And diecast. Lead hero droid and Furby. So, yeah. Uh, See now that Furby, that Furby one, I, I don't think that necessarily means the Chewbacca one. No, sidekick it says, alien. Yeah, sidekick alien. There's also the one above that. It's the RC lead hero droid, which is BB-8. Yeah. So there's a remote control version of him coming, which is pretty. That'll be fun. That'll be a blast to roll around. Et. Yeah, that's that's an expensive price though for. Uh, yeah. Hmm. So I think next up is our uh, Hasbro at Celebration. Uh, yeah. Um, they made, uh, I think, I guess after a few inquiries from a few sites out there, um, they confirmed that they will not be having a Hasbro panel um, at Celebration, which was kind of interesting considering they've they've had a presentation um, at both or at at prior Celebration events. Uh, it's kind of disappointing that we don't get to see you know something new from them it doesn't even have to be the force awakens type stuff because we figure we can't see anything really anyway other than you know maybe figures from the trailer that we've seen already and whatnot but 
as Obi Wan has said, patience. Yeah, I know, I know. There's so much stuff to come from a new movie, so uh, I'm all for the camp of uh, just saving it all up because I want to. I want to sit in that cinema and be amazed, and then go out and buy the toy, not not to be spoiled. So uh, <laughs> right. Looking forward to it, but uh, yeah, it's a bit of a change. I can't recall that ever happening at uh, a celebration where Hasbro didn't have so unusual. Yeah. But, uh, um, but there you go. Moving on to the so, next bit of Sideshow, Hot Toys, and Statue Type News. Um, DTEC um, announced, uh, which is a, a line that... Uh, Disney carries it's a it's a line of the 3D printed type characters where you could get your likeness scanned and then attached or printed onto these um, generic you know Jedi and Tie Fighter pilot bodies. Mm -hmm. um, this is a product they've offered in the past, but now they're offering these two new characters that you can now be fitted and into. I, <laughs> yeah, I think that I think that's I think that starts um, for at uh, Star Wars weekends in May. Did you have that? Yep. Yes, introduced in May. Yep. So, uh, and yeah, we've talked about this before. Star Wars Action News, Marvelicious Toys. They've got a great uh, little uh, insight into this. They've bought some of these, and uh, um, there's different methods you can get your face scanned. So, yeah, listening to the show to get some some good insights into uh, the D Tech stuff. If you're going to go and do it, mm -hmm. not for me. I don't think it's for you either. But uh, no, I know what I cool. look like. <laughs> 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 I don't need that as a figure. <laughs> You do, you would look good in that Jedi robe. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, so. Uh, oh, let's see what else. I'm moving on to some uh, some Funko stuff. Uh, we talked about this on our last show. Um, There's a Hikari Greedo that leaked. Um, I think from an Australian seller. Um, this is now available for sale through um, Entertainment Earth. This is the Sublime um, color version, which is basically a brighter, more you know. <laughs> nuclear <laughs> coloration than the than the first one that had come out. But this one's limited to only 750 pieces versus the 12 or 1500 the other one was. Yeah, if, if you're a Greedo collector or a Hikari collector, man, I feel your pain. So uh, that these things are going to be plentiful. Absolutely plentiful. So, um, yeah. It's, uh, you know, for $80, I think I'll save my money and, you know. Yeah, me too. I think I'll Pass. There's a couple of things we're going to show later on, which with your money. So, right. Stay tuned. Uh, speaking um, of more Funko and more Greedo, uh, there's an uh, they're reissuing the Greedo uh, pop bobblehead that they had come out with years ago as one of their first in the line of of bobbleheads. Um, uh, Funko announced that they were going to be doing this throughout the year until the Force Awakens comes out. Um, that they'd be pulling figures out that they had previously retired from the line. I think they mm -hmm. they had a Slave Leia, uh, Jedi Luke, uh, Darth and Vader mast. Yep. Yep. And now this Greedo is coming back. So exactly. Pretty so, popular. It reminded me of a Star Trek uh, alien. So uh, it just doesn't look quite right there, but. Hey, cool! If you're you're into pop, and again, we're going to talk more pop shortly. So, uh, yeah, what's yeah. what's a Star Wars pop a coming? Yes, um, Funko also announced today, in fact, um, Monday, that they're having the um, ex some exclusives for Celebration uh, Anaheim, which includes a oh, who else in this line? There's a um, a three PO, which is a, a protocol. Oh, that's right. Uh, and looking very good. I love that the silver kind of outline there. He looks fantastic. Um, mm -hmm. These are uh, potentially well. Some some of them as we're just about to see in a minute. The Darth Vader is not really an exclusive. It's just an early. Uh, there it goes. It actually says on it first to market. So right. you cannot order that if you really want that sticker. Well, you're going to pay a little more. And a very cool shock trooper mm -hmm. is exclusive. And a couple of. I like the style of that droid. It reminds me of Jake, uh, Jake's artwork, but uh, yeah, I do like that. And talking about those two astromechs, you mentioned we, right, Funko would mention there are two more on the way, and you right. have a little tidbit of information about uh, what they might be. Yeah, one of them is a uh, is another astromech. I'm not sure who exactly <clears throat> it's going to be, but uh, I saw an image posted on a Japanese site, and it had a silhouette of a bunch of these figures. You know, some of them were the ones we had just shown, and there's another astromech that has yet to be revealed. So, 
we'll see how that how that pans out. Good day to be an Astromech fan, that's for mm-hmm. sure. Um, no, it's something gorgeous. Yes, um, this was just revealed last week. Um, these are the next figures in a se- in the series of the um, uh, Play Arts Kai line of variant figures. Uh, we had talked about one previously. There was a Darth Vader one that was really cool that had this really interesting lightsaber that had like the the swoosh right. effect swoosh. applied yeah. to it. Um, the two okay. new figures in this line is a stormtrooper, which looks pretty awesome. They do. I just, I, again, I think you hit it in the nail. We were talking about this earlier on. A kind of combination of Transformers, Halo, um, you name it. Just, I, I love the Stormtrooper. I'm all over him. Yep. Just looks fantastic. Um, I've had a, seen, uh, I've had in my hand a couple of Play Arts Kai figures before. Really sturdy, really well made. The only potential issue that I'd heard before from uh, fans who adored them, by the way, was I'm gonna pose on that thing, was that potentially wrists sometimes because the swappable can be a little bit loose mm. or the opposite, a little bit hard to actually get into the socket. So, uh, but I think Play Arts Kai have corrected. That's just that could almost be Episode Seven, and I, I would have just believed it. So. <laughs> yeah, it's a cool mashup of you know Transformers slash Halo slash uh, wow. Iron Man. It's just got a lot yeah, of... Iron Man is too, exactly. So uh, lots of little extras. Great stands. Uh, there's the extra hands we talked about in the weapons. And there's Boba. And we there's talked your about baby. I know. He's uh, stunned at the cape again. It's very stylized like that Darth before. But um, yep. just amazing. Just incredible insight to be able to design something like that. To have that kind of foresight to take something and just add your own flavor in such a, a unique way. But... These are gorgeous. They yeah. are available right now. You can get free shipping on them uh, over at Darkseid Toys. I can tell you there's not a lot uh, because these are limited as they are, so um, they will go pretty fast and already sold out quite a few because I bought one of each. So, uh, yeah, we'll definitely review some of these and give you a look. But I love the flame on this flamethrower. It's incredibly dark and gnarly there. So Yeah. Beautiful. I mean, Boba, Boba Fett looks cool anyway, but <laughs> this looks just mean, you know? <laughs> He's badass there on the little pistol at the back instead of on his side. So, yeah. As you were saying, it's a kind of a nice uh, mashup of um, character plus some mythos from Sideshow right. and just just everything in there. Iron Man, Halo, and whatever. Even the backpack has that weird kind of jet coming out the side. Um, I never really showed that that last part there, but just those little uh, little touch. If I present that to everyone just now. The little touches of the jetpack at the sides there just looks yeah. really nice. Very, very nice figure. And I, we've seen something just so stunning like that. But uh, pre-order them. You will pay a fortune. Otherwise, if you don't. So uh, we told you. What's next? Next piece is um, Sideshow Luke. Uh, Sideshow had posted a kind of an unboxing video here just in the past day or so. Um Regarding how to you know pose some of these figures, it it's not even though it shows Luke specifically, it's kind of a general um, you know tips and advice to give towards people who are displaying their fig or their figures or you know photographing them or whatever you happen to do. Um, it's a pretty neat video that was shown over on on Luke on the uh, sideshow site. Yeah, I mean you hit the nail on the head uh, earlier when we were talking about this when. I mean, again, Terry here at Sideshow is just showing you how to pose it and just make it uh, look good. And, yeah, you, you can spend a lot of money and take great photographs, but if you can't pose it worth a damn, then the whole thing just, yeah, you just, yeah, it's sometimes good to get advice on how to make these things look really good. And uh, he's doing a good job in this video, so definitely check it out. Yes. Thanks, as usual, in the, the show notes. Uh, let's see, next item here it's was one we talked about on the last sh- show. Um, was the uh, oh no this was the, a different one here uh, Celebration Anaheim um, exclusives from Hallmark uh, they had released those last week uh, one of them is the uh, Macquarie Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker uh, concept figures or ornaments and they're looking good and these are highly limited yes. we were talking about so yes. yeah about 2,000 pieces I think it's in that's right and split over 500 per day uh, at uh, celebrations. So, um, yeah, uh, like as you said, people will be queuing for this in yeah. uh, in the lane. So if you They'll want that, lines. get on that. And, uh, and we talked about these cool little uh, plush 
Itty bitties. Itty bitties, yep. They're expanding their line further, getting into some of the bounty hunters, um, and these two are exclusive to Celebration Anaheim, Dengar and Bosk. And again, they're limited to two. So, yeah. uh, production run, total production of 2,200 and limited to 550 per day at Celebration. They're only 20 bucks per set, $10 each. Hmm. So if plush is your thing, then go get them. Uh, let's see. This was an article you had shared on your site, uh, flyguy.net, regarding the 3A Stormtrooper. That's right. Uh, we've just been Stage. bringing you some kind of uh, bits and pieces from VA, the N6 scale collectibles that they've been granted a license for is called Star Wars Alternate. Uh, this is the first sketch from these guys, if I just share this with everybody. Um, of uh, what they will look like and or potentially look like. So just kind of like the earlier Stormtrooper, we've got a very kind of, uh, I don't know what that is, ninja sword or something through his back and huge backpack and just, he's a canister trooper. He's just packing <laughs> canisters of, I don't know if it's protein shakes or grenades spray or whatever paint. he's got, but spray paint. <laughs> um, he's looking he's awesome. So, he's uh, a tagger. He's a tagger indeed. So uh, yeah, we'll bring you more as it comes along, but this could be something really nice or it could be just incredible incredibly eclectic and unique but either way we'll let you know what this lane is doing but uh, could be cool could be very cool indeed uh, let's see next up there are a couple custom pieces here we're going to talk about uh, first one here from Ryan Spencer who we've talked about several times on previous shows um, he showed his latest uh, production update for his little mini wars line that he's doing um, starting with the Kenner style Boba Fett that's right, and uh, you know, I know Stranger to Ryan and his work. He's done some custom little pieces for us before, little uh, logos of Boba Fett and Yak Face, and one for Sith Lord Two Two Nine as well. So, Ryan Spencer, A.K.E. Blue Ghost, A.K.E. Blue Boy Productions, uh, uh, T-shirts and all sorts of cool stuff he makes, and he's now branched off into this cool little play school like uh, Star Wars line. But they just look great, and hey, it's Boba, so. Uh, lots nice. of other ones he's got, so uh, we'll bring you more news on Ryan and his work. But uh, yep, flying and the flag for Canadian designers. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say that. Yeah, he's working on getting these actually produced. So um, he's working with yeah. a couple manufacturers overseas in order to get this line available. You know, I'm not sure what kind of a production run these will have. So if you're interested, I'd suggest contacting him to get on some sort of a list if he offers one. If you're if you're into that kind of thing. Definitely. Uh, it's, um, uh, it's a very tough to do what he's doing. So, from a legal standpoint, for sure. Legal point of view, production point of view, but uh, yeah, it's a tough thing. So yeah, we love what he's doing. <laughs> um, this was cool. <laughs> the vintage thing. I think we'll go next. Yeah, this was uh, uh, an image. I think both of us had known from a link from Ryan. I think um, on maybe a Google channel or something. But uh, this is like a custom box for the Tauntaun with open belly rescue feature and it's just got a cute it. illustration with a totally gutted and eviscerated Tauntaun laying on the ground and <laughs> little Luke snuggled up in his in the way, I know, I know. and Han looking very happy with himself like, uh, yes. but uh, I love the action figure not included contents one mammal and a bag of guts with blood <laughs> if only they made figures like this so uh, Yes, you can see it's obviously it's a little mock-up at the back there. You can see the original can of toys or the yeah. latest ones. But looks good. Like it. Love this artwork by Phil Postma. So, Very uh, fun. What is next? Uh, uh, Max this. Replicas. Um, this is, we shared this, again, this customizer before. He had done some of those, uh, you know, taking a Hasbro vehicle and essentially reinventing the entire thing, adding electronics and a realistic paint job and whatnot. Um, this one, he made a cool uh, display case uh, or display stand for his uh, Shadow Stormtrooper. Yeah, it's looking very good indeed. Um, yeah, that, those Max replicas, again, we, we shared many, many weeks ago, probably over a year ago, I think, uh, in um, some of the cool stuff that I just went for some of these high-res images to load. But uh, you can see the thumbnails in the background. We seem to be dragging a little bit here in bandwidth. Come on. I will click it. We will just show you the thumbnails and you can have a look. But um, beautifully done. This little backlit piece he's done here again. Looking, I guess, like the Death Star or a part of a Star Destroyer or something. But, yeah. Um, you know, cool little awning above it, you know, with that cast some light down. And, you know, it's illuminated from the back. And 
it's a really cool presentation for. It's very nice. Well, I guess when you're spending that amount of money on a figure, you know, in some cases, like that that Black Series Stormtrooper, not Black Series, the Black Stormtrooper from Sideshow, which was, I think, a good, ooh, two fifty, two seventy five, yeah. something like that. Yeah, it I was... think the Hot Toys version is that what this is? I yeah, 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 that's it. Um, so, yeah, you <laughs> you want to spend your money and make it look good. So presentation wise, it's. Uh, it's pretty a link in his show notes for loads of other cool things that Max Replicas have done. Just stunners. And but. Let's see. The last little bit here of collectible news. Um, Kotobukiya announced today on uh, Facebook, I noticed, that they're making their uh, Celebration K3PO and the Astromech, which I'm blanking on. It's like R2A3 or something like that. Um, R3A2. Uh, they're going to make that available for pre-order this Thursday for none. Celebration Anaheim attendees, Excellent. which is very cool. So if you want to grab this, and if you're not going to Celebration, which I know a lot of people can't do, then yeah, get it. So complete. Yeah, these, these figures are part of their uh, uh, Artifacts Plus line of statue figures. Yeah. Um, some great see. ones over the years. So. Oh yeah, for sure. I think you know they do feature or they do release a lot of Astromax. It seems like maybe two a year come about. You know whether it's I don't know, they, they'd have a ton. Um, I think they just had one, was it for, uh, was it Toy Fair? Maybe it was New York uh, Comic Con. Wasn't that the one that was available at Barnes & Noble? I can't remember. There's Maybe. So many. Uh, the, yeah, there have been a lot. <laughs> There's been a lot. Um, let's see, what else? Um, moving on to TV, movie, book, and game news. Um, last week it was revealed that uh, the next... Uh, action figure cover for uh, the Star Wars Marvel series is going to feature Chewbacca. That's right. And uh, I was scouting a bit as well on some of the preview sites, and uh, we know that they're continuing with a fifth uh, and a sixth action figure cover, so it looks like we're going to get that full set of 12. So, That'd be great. Uh, that would be good. So you can already pre-order some of the... Um, this, for some bizarre reason, you can pre-order the six, number six, but not number five. Anyway, they're coming out soon, but um, mm. yeah, Chewie looks rather, rather good there. So these are going to look fantastic once we line these all up. So yep. I'm glad. I pre-ordered. Uh, I pre-ordered mine from uh, Midtown Comics. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Just to make sure I got it. Yes. Um. This uh, video here was one we had, I think we had talked about last year sometime as well. The there was a Tie Fighter anime video out there. There was kind of like a work in progress deal, um, That's right. kind of like an old, uh, almost like Robotech t type of cartoon, very vintagey um, in style and um, very anime like. Uh, he completed his uh, his test or his work in product or work in progress, and it's an amazing video. I think we cartoon. We'll um we'll get the right uh link because I think we've just we've got the wrong link oh, there yeah, for it, it, but we'll uh, take that out. It's it's a great video, not a problem. We'll, we'll put that in the show notes. So um gorgeous uh, anime from uh, a bunch of people who made this stunning piece. It's gotta be seen to be believed, it's so good. Um and again it, yeah, you're right, it was literally over a year. Uh here we go, I managed to dig it up. Uh, let me okay, share this on the screen for you. But it's just, I remember seeing the preview. It was just so super slick. But uh, seven minutes long, we'll just share a little bit on screen there with you. But you can see the, if I could just share that now. Yeah. It's just stylization. Sound effects are gorgeous. Uh, out of bash everywhere, little logos and graphics. It's It's one slick, slick production. So uh, yeah, definitely check it out. But uh, it's taken them a long time to make a seven-minute movie. The amount of work that's poured into this, so yeah, yeah, I think it's he, beautiful. I think, he said, I think he said he worked like every weekend for a, a couple years to get for like four years or something like that to get this this far. Whoa. For a personal project, I'd say that's pretty. That's dedication. That's for not it. bad. <laughs> yeah. Do him a favor, click the link and go and watch it. That's yeah, Absolutely. every weekend. <laughs> wow. Um, anyway. let's see, moving on to some celebration trading and patches and pins and all that good stuff. Um, there's a 
several different uh, like multi uh, patch sets that are out there. Um, let's see, that's on number three. I think we're going to be on. Uh, there's a bounty hunter set which includes. Um, let's see, where are we here? I think you're on the wrong uh, one. Pins there? Are we on the? No, we're on the number three on the show notes. The the oh. celebration patches. Oh my bad, my bad. I'm no dropping problem. my hatred all over the place. There we there go. There we go. It's all celebration anyway, but uh, yeah, these, these are kind of cool. I've seen these before, previous celebrations. Um, do you like these? A thousand sets were produced, and the cost is zero. That's a lot of money that these sites, Creature Cantina, I think here, has uh, uh, basically invested uh, for right. nothing. No return, so um, pretty cool. So, They're very fun to uh, pick up, and like, like you can see there, you collect the six different uh, bounty hunters in it, makes a nice little spread based on the Kenner action figures. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of cool stuff given away at panels and uh, from people oh, in yeah. booths and you might get something if you stop uh, some people that may be on this podcast. You never know. Maybe. So, uh, I'll yeah. show those in a bit. Cool. Uh, let's see. Um, another one that uh, Rebel Scum had shared. Uh, this was a very cool one. It's a Darth Vader carrying case uh, patch set and it's like almost life size I think. This was cool. That's right. I forgot about this. Uh, let me just bring this up one line here. Um, let's see if we can share that there. This is beautiful. Very, very nice indeed. So, yeah, it's all vintage things. A lot of cool, cool vintage stuff as well. There's some Rebels too, but uh, there's a lot of cool vintage stuff as well. So, very nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with that whole thing. Yeah. So, this is a patch. So, each one is a patch. That's... Yep. Phenomenal. <laughs> oh my god, the work that goes into these things. It's just, in some ways it, it, it puts some of the vendors uh, <clears throat> Hasbro and others to shame with the <laughs> amount of work that fans do for this thing. Uh, one of which I know that I work with right here every week. Uh, just tons of investment of time and money. So uh, yeah. yeah, pick these it's things fun. up and promote them. It is fun. Uh, let's see, what else? There's Very the, cool. the pin trading program, which um, we've talked about again on previous shows. They've, they've released uh, more uh, pins that are going to be available at different booths um, throughout the event. They, I think they showed, f what, four or five last week. Um, there's a Biker Scout right. available at the Boosh. Samsonite oh. booth. Uh, wow. Leia Boosh at the Innovos Innovos booth. booth. Emperor at the EFX Collectibles yeah. booth, uh, Lando Karazian at the Think Geek booth, and the Endor, uh, or not Endor, but the Emperor's Royal Guard will be available at the PPW Toys booth. And I think sometimes, I mean, like some of the celebrations I've been to, a lot of the times they're only available at certain times. Right. But, uh, it's got to be crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's and I'm not sure how these are dished out like do you have to do like a you know a dance a bark like a dog or you know do you have you know <laughs> you throw, or whatever throw yeah money money at them and get them or you know I don't know how how it works but I think every every booth is going to have it a little bit differently I don't think any of them are for sale per se I think you have no. they're it's more of a trade you know type deal so well, well that's an interesting out. one there that the Luke Skywalker X-Wing pilot released at San Diego Comic-Con mm -hmm. Star Wars uh, Celebration on him through trading only. Boy, oh boy, trying to get a full set of these. It's fun, but yeah. also a gigantic moon-sized pain in the ass. But, uh, <laughs> it could be. There we go. I wonder who these silhouettes could be, Jason. Yeah, I, I know. You could just, hmm. So, uh, yeah, there's lots more to be revealed. But uh, beautiful Christopher Lee artwork. I've got the poster on my wall. I think you bought a poster years ago as well. Yep. His, his work is beautiful. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be all over celebration. Very good. Um, let's see. The next one, uh, again, this is a celebration bit. Uh, more of a general posting, though, that they've, they've published basically most of the um, schedule for the entire event where you could, you know, plan your show based on the... Um, whether it's the website or using the app that you could download, um, you'll be able to check out all the different panels, uh, presentations, uh, special events, um, all that good stuff. So exactly. So it's just it's it's full on. I was talking to Adam Bree, the 
Star Wars Rebels book author uh, on Twitter this week. We were just tweeting back and forth about, uh, well, he was actually suggesting there's a lot of blank and empty spaces in the schedule and wonder what they could be for. So, uh, yeah, expect to see some Force Awakened, Rogue One, whatever it may be. So, uh, yeah. Well, coming soon, details there. So, uh, yeah, that could be that could be it. So, uh, interesting. There's another details there coming soon. So, yeah, looking forward yeah. to it, man. A couple of weeks away. Can't believe it's coming. It's crazy. Yep, can't wait. Uh, let's see what else. Just, um, last couple bits here were some late editions uh, based on uh, Star Wars Rebels pinball game that was uh, revealed today. Studios uh, uh, pinball game. I'm not really a huge pinball fan, uh, but uh, they're making this on a, a proper console, uh, a proper uh, pinball machine, as well as on consoles. So there's a digital version of this on pretty much all platforms, it looks like, including PC as well. So nice to get this thing out at the same time on all the platforms. Mm-hmm. Nobody's waiting any longer, and it's uh, it just looks kind of interesting. There's a couple of side missions there for Chopper, and it just kind of interesting addition. I'd love to get a shot to play it. Anything Rebels is attracting attention. Um, uh, I didn't think I should that there properly, but there we go. I'm sure it now. So, yep, there's a little bit of a blurb there. Team up with the Rebels gang, uh, grumpy astromech droid chopper, uh, <laughs> take on some TIE fighters. Um, so, it, yeah, looks kind of interesting. But uh, there's a few Rebels games on the go, including our next item, um, which we'll just, I guess, jump straight forward through, which is uh, Rebels Recon Missions. Had you seen this? Um, I did see the announcement, but I haven't uh, I haven't downloaded it yet to check it out. I, I literally downloaded it. haven't played it yet. We'll play a little bit of the video here. It's got a nice, um, if anyone knows what I mean by Contra, a kind of side-scrolling, oh, yeah. um, kind love of old-school feel. Yeah, I love this. It's kind of, you're playing a little bit here, the video here. You can see some side-scrolling shoot them up a little bit, maybe Super Star Wars, Super Empire Strikes Back-ish mm-hmm. kind of thing, so... It's free to play. The first four levels are, are free, but uh, be warned, this is quite a heavy push going by some of the reviews originally on the Google Play Store that uh, um, it's a, a game that will require you to cough up a bit of cash to play a little ah. further. So we would keep coming back every day is that you're going to hit a brick wall at some point. So right. um, money will be involved. But uh, nice to see it's on the App Store, it's on Google Play, it's on Windows Phone too. So well done, Zen Studios, for giving all Star Wars fans a crack at uh, that. But tablets and phones, check it out. Sounds good. Um, that brings us to our reviews and new toy acquisitions portion of the show. Um, me, myself, I did not uh, post any new reviews this week. I'm working on a few things here, um, but I saw you posted a couple. I did. I can't remember whether we spoke about this last week or not. Uh, just the weeks are blending into it. Yeah. The one and another <laughs> moment. But the, uh, where are we? Two figures that I did get recently was Bosk and Han Solo. And uh, without a doubt, give them a review. My personal opinion is uh, uh, Bosk is awesome, and I'll stand by that statement. A few people have mm-hmm. kind of uh, been a little contentious about that. I'm saying he's not awesome, and there's flaws. I get it, of course. I've, nothing's perfect. It is. It is a nineteen or twenty dollar toy, but yeah. uh, um, I like it. I'm a big fan of it. I just think Hasbro put some love and attention into this. Uh, the jaw works fantastically well. The suit is bright and yellow. I love it. I really do love it. Of course, there's a little couple of flaws, but they're absolutely tiny, I think. I really don't think they're, they're much of an issue. No, um, I, I can't wait. And the other one was Hansel the Stormtrooper again, which I adored. I really do like it. Um, it, it it's a minimal difference from the original Stormtrooper. Uh, we, you and I both were a little concerned about the uh, Stormtrooper helmet being a little bit too big and squidgy. Uh, at one point, and just coming up in just a second, I think I show you the... There we go. A little freeze frame there. You can see once we get the ads out of the way. Oh, yeah. The, um, the original Stormtrooper helmet is here, and here's the hand one. Now, it does look bigger, but it's just it's bigger at the back end. So yep. uh, it, it doesn't look bad at all. So um, I think it's a really good figure. Really good figure. No, that's a great shot there showing the difference so, in the in the helmets. Yeah. Order. You can get. In fact, it's available now. There's uh, a few stores online, Darkside, and other stores. Uh, I've got it, and I think it's been hitting Walmart for a couple of weeks as well in some places. But don't uh, don't miss out on these guys. They're really good figures, definitely. Yep. Uh, let's see. 
as far as new stuff this week, um, oh, wait, there was one more thing I thought. I th- did you um, do any 12-inch figure? I thought, it, not necessarily Star Wars, uh, but I thought. You know, you're absolutely right. I did. I completely forgot I did that. The bl- sh- I thought it was last week. The Shadow Stormtrooper. Um, oh. Thank you, sir. The, sh- yeah. The Shadow Stormtrooper just sharing now. There we go. Me again. It's kind of funny, me saying me. But um, <laughs> took a look at this. I, I was a little disappointed in this figure, I have to say. Really? Um, yeah, I... Look, it's Hot Toys. It's pretty cool. Uh, it, it's well made. Uh, some flaws that uh, I've always bugged me with a lot of the sideshow figures I've got is the the underlying body armor uh, slides down a little bit, particularly mm-hmm. in the legs, and it just still does it. It's a little better with Hot Toys treatment, uh, but it's still there. And another no- kind of problem that was really bugging me was the ankles felt a little bit short, um, or the armor felt a little bit short for the uh, overall kind of figure. Um, just trying to freeze a frame. You can just see there. They yep. seem to expose a little bit of the, the... It just looks a little Michael Jackson with these kind of socks. You know <laughs> I mean? um, and the other nitpicky thing, um, and it's not really nitpicky because it's quite a big issue, I think, is the helmet, I think, is just a little bit too big. Hmm. But um, talking to someone on Twitter today, they've got the white Stormtrooper and they love it. But I'm just good. sadly not feeling this one. I don't know, it's weird, but... But once you get it in hand, it's too happy with it. Cool. Um, let's see. That I guess that does bring us to our new toy acquisitions and purchases for the week. Um, how about you? We'll start with you to on this this week. I uh, I donated a kidney and uh, <laughs> placed my order for uh, Hulkbuster uh, for okay. Iron Man Hot Toys. So and sadly. <laughs> They released another limited edition uh, Hot Toys Iron Man Mark VII stealth suit, which has gone immediately to a uh, waitlist on Sideshow, literally within less than 24 hours. So if you still want one, get in the waitlist, because this thing is already up for $700 on eBay. Yeah, so, that's, uh, that's pretty bad. I, sh- I don't know why I didn't... Nah, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you regret not being able to flip it immediately. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so that was me that I've been good. Otherwise, I, I, oh, I did buy some more. No one's Star Wars, sadly. It's a Marvel Legends, the, um, the three-pack. The Hill three-pack, uh, and Agent Coulson. And uh, I think we talked about it last week, but the Marvel Legends figures for the Hulk. And um, oh, yeah. the Thanos wave was out, uh, and we've been shipping them the last week. And they are gorgeous. If you're an Avengers fan, definitely the Hulk and Cap are stunning. Yeah, I, uh, saw, those ten- I saw those tonight at Target. That oh, uh, that Hulk is a massive. He's bursting out the packaging. He's literally just <laughs> all over the screen and all over the the, the cellophane, but rubbing against the. Uh, huge, yeah, he's really right up against the package, but uh, it's a huge Hulk, uh, really well done, and pretty much every part of it's brand new. So, uh, and again, I'm an Iron Man fan, and I love it. And nice. It's great too. What about you? Uh, let's see. I got a lot of boxes in the past week. Um, <laughs> A lot of Saga Legends, uh, Mission Series type stuff. Everything that's been pretty much hitting retail now. Um, so I won't go over every individual piece. People have all seen that by now. Um, I ordered the Bandai R2-D2 and R5-D4 kit. Those, the model kits. Um, I felt that was probably my best, closest way to get a maybe a 6th scale, or not a 6th scale, a 1 12th scale R5-D4 to go along with the with the other six inch figures, so I'm going to try my hand at putting together one of those kits. I I didn't realize that it was. I mean, it's a it's a model kit, like a traditional model kit. Only you don't build it, and all the pieces are pre painted, um, so that's good. Um, I was sure but, Medicom Real Action Heroes came out with a, an R5 D4. Man, a six, yeah, in six inch scale. Six inch scale? I can't remember. Anyway, that's what these. That's I yeah. Guess. I think that's what these are close to. Maybe not quiet, but not, that's why I want to get it to compare and see how how they how they work. Sure. Um, they have a lot of cool little parts. You know, R two comes with all of his different arms and saws and and whatnot. So it'll be cool to compare that against the awesome. um, the Hasbro version, which includes a lot of those same parts. Um, what else? Uh, I got. I made another vintage purchase. I haven't done that in a while. Um, this was one that I did not have as a kid, but I just felt like I needed it, and that is the vintage Imperial Troop Transport. 
And what's that? We were talking about it through the week, and you shared the pictures. But what's that lettering that's on the front? Let me just make sure I'm brushing your new screen. There's like um, that, that black. Uh, is that a sticker or something? Or here, original movie signs that says, "Okay." Oh yeah, I've never yeah, seen that before. Yeah. Okay. And this originally came out in the in a regular Star Wars box. This is the Empire Strikes Back version. Uh, okay. Um, sounds are virtually identical. There's also a, a different variant that includes different stickers. Um, okay. I think you can only get that through Sears or maybe uh, uh, there's a, I think the pa- a Palatoy version offers a similar a similar version. Nice. Um, so I picked that up, and this what's really nice about this one. Um, it's it's an opener, so I don't feel bad about pulling the guts out of the box. But it co- includes all of the the cool cardboard packing stuff and all of the cool you know pamphlets and nice. instruction books. And I really was impressed with the instruction sheet for this because it's like in beautiful condition. It's not ripped or you know stained or That's creased nice. heavily. It's just it has its two original folds, you know, that folded in half and then yeah, yeah, yeah. in half again, and it's like fresh out of the box. Um, the vehicle itself is in really great shape. So, it just looks so all the good. stickers are present and not peeling and it includes all of the little head restraint deals for the yep. for the figures. I haven't tested, since I don't have any C batteries laying around, I'm not sure what things take C batteries anymore. Um, <laughs> but uh, I haven't tested to see if the electronics work yet. Work it, yep, yep, yep. Because it's got the little buttons on the top that has you know blaster sounds or droids or whatnot. So I'm anxious to check it out. And such a cool looking iconic vehicle in some ways. It's just uh, yeah. And what's since Hasbro just released their new one? Well, new to them mm-hmm. for Rebels. Um, because I wanted to do some photographs of them side by side showing the similarities between the two and surprisingly you know you 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 look at the Hasbro version oh it's people kind of derided it a little bit cuz it's kind of hollow on the bottom mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. it it's not all that much different from the vintage one other than it doesn't have actual functional wheels yep um, but i was surprised in how close they are in size oh you're right wow you know because when you display the rebels figures with the new rebels version they look kind of silly, actually, because of the the doors only like cover their knees. So you know, it's like so much of a restraint, is it? <laughs> right? But comparing it to the to the vintage version, it's almost you know the same type of effect. Yeah. So, but it's you can put the two together in a diorama, and not really. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Be at a place. But their but their footprint is virtually the same. So. Is that right? The newer version did not come with working wheels. Right, it it includes like those little bumps that you you, you know that oh, slide yeah. across the carpet essentially. I don't know if you and can scrape those the very carpet well. of some expensive table or something. That's just yeah, but I mean they did go as far as you know there are details on the bottom you know like little hover sure sure things and whatnot, but yeah, you know fun. essentially the whole front end is completely hollow. But mm. anyway. But and you know the top opens and you can put all the you know figures and stuff inside. So anyway, nice purchase. Um, there was that, and then I made some cool buttons. Cool, well, cool for me, I guess. Um, uh, yeah. To give away for celebration stuff, I have my bag of yak face buttons. Nice. A few there, oh, and then nice. I made some. <laughs> these are going to be very popular. I already have a feeling. These are my. We want Leia buttons. I don't know if yes, you know, that will be popular. Then. Yeah. So we passing those out. I've got a few other things that I'm working on. I haven't, not quite ready to reveal those yet, but it might have something to do with the show. Who knows? But Excellent. anyway, that was me for the week. That was you. Some Saga Legends and or. Yep, I mentioned. You that, okay. Yeah, all the Saga Legends and Mission Series goodies. Cool. That's quite a bunch of swag you got this week. Yeah, not bad. Cool, you. So, I think with that, that wraps up this week's show. A little bit later than we're used to, but... Ah. Anyway, lots of good stuff in it still, I think. Um, We will be back next week with whatever news comes out over the course of these next few days before the weekend finally gets here. Um, We will talk to you all next time. See you later.